Today, we'd like to show you how to create stunning digital signage. We'll be working with the software application, or app, for the ST12MHD LAN, our HDMI over IP video wall solution. Let's take a look at what we'll be discussing. The ST12MHD LAN app is available for iOS, Android, and Google Chrome. The control device must be on the same network as your ST12MHD LAN transmitters and receivers. The transmitters and receivers have a default IP address in the range of 169.254.x. Dot x, with a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0. If you need to change the IP address to fit your network infrastructure, make sure you keep all devices on the same network. For example, you can change your transmitter to 192.168.1.100 and your receiver to 192.168.1.100. 101. There are links in the description to assist you in changing your control device's IP address. The app will automatically discover any transmitters and receivers that are on the same network as the control device. These devices will be shown in the Devices tab. You can manually force the control device to search for any transmitters and receivers by pressing the Refresh button in the Devices tab. You can access the menu from any tab within the app. The menu includes a helpful guide to the app as well as the ability to search a specific IP address for a transmitter or receiver. The menu also allows you to turn on Demo Mode, which populates the app with virtual devices allowing you to test configurations as if actual devices were connected. The menu also includes device administration, which you can use to reboot all of your connected devices or reset the connected devices to factory defaults. On the Devices tab, you can adjust the individual settings for each transmitter and receiver. Simply tap on a device's name to load that device's settings. On the settings page, you can change the name of the device, the IP address and subnet, view error history, and other advanced settings. The second tab of the ST12MHD LAN app is the Switches tab. This tab allows you to define which video source is being sent to each video receiver. You can change the video source quickly and easily by selecting a different source in this tab. The final tab in the ST12MHD LAN app is titled Walls and allows you to customize your video walls and digital signage. To create a new video wall, complete the following. Step 1. Tap the plus icon. Step 2. Enter a name in the wall name field. Step 3. Assign the video wall a number of rows and columns. Step 4. Tap next. Step 5. Assign a receiver to each of the displays in your video wall. You can tap on a display to change the receiver assigned to that display. Step 6. To correct for the bezel compensation, tap Bezel Compensation. Step 7. Measure your display with and without the bezel and enter the measurements as indicated in the diagram. Step 8. Tap Save. As you add more video walls to the Walls tab, you can easily modify or delete them by tapping on each entry. You can manage your video wall in one of two ways. On the Walls tab, tap a video source to select it for a video wall. 
On the Switches tab, tap a video source to select it for each display. If at this point you have questions regarding the ST12MHD LAN, please review the other videos in this series. If you'd like to learn more about video extenders in general, please watch our series on that subject. Links can be found in the description. Thanks for watching. My name's Keith from StarTech.com. Hard to find? Made easy.